Uh, you said he talked about magic and... What? Domesticated zombies? He talked about a group of people who don't get infected. Even if they're bitten. Well, delirious people will say anything. He was holding this map when we brought him in. Whoa. This looks like... A way out of Haran. Crane, we're running out of Antizin. We have to explore every possibility. We can't wait any longer. Stay away! Stay away! You don't understand. The mother... The mother... Lena, do you copy? Crane, damn it. You're breaking up. Yeah, listen, your one-eyed delirious patient, he was telling the truth. There is a way out. It may be what he said about people who don't turn is true. He died this morning, Kyle. The fever got him. You're on your own, I'm afraid. Lena? Lena! God, fucking mountains. This looks occupied, more or less. What do you want? I need to talk to someone in charge. I'm from Haran. Oh, you a smuggler? Do you work for the crook, huh? Look, I, I don't know anything about any smuggling, pal. I'm here just... I need some help. As for Jasir, but understand this. If you steal anything, you lose your hands.
Hi. Hey, excuse me. I don't know anything. Look, could you just tell me where to find someone who does know something? Look for Jazir. He'll be inside the bar. Need something? Are you the one in charge? I need some help. Talk to Jazir. Father, please! Can't we talk no, about this? No! No! End of discussion! Fine! Fine! Eski! Wait! Eski! Uh, excuse me. Not now, please. I don't mean to interrupt. I'm looking for Jazir. I am Jazir. But if you want food, we have only bread. No, no, I, I don't need food. Listen, I'm from Haran, and I've come because I've heard that there are people here who are immune to the virus, that they don't turn, even if they get bitten. Oh. And who told you this? Uh, a dead man, I'm sorry to say. You might as well keep listening to him. I'll tell you no more than he. Fucking hell, why won't anybody help me? The virus is all over the city. People are dying. And yet, you still live. Take some bread, my friend. And go back to Haran. No one wants you here. Lena, this is Crane. Do you copy? Damn it, what a fucking wasteland. Hey! Yeah, you! Come here! Come on, come closer. I won't bite you. Don't worry. I ain't like the rest of these loonies. Yeah, I'm talking about you, you nut jobs. So you're not one of them? Then why aren't they trying to run you off? Because I sell more shit than just bread. My name's Khan, by the way. Kyle Crane. Hey, you're from Haran, right? Bet you ran into my optically challenged buddy. You mean the guy with an eye missing? Yeah, that's the one. My boy, Kurt. How's he doing? Oh, he, uh... Yeah, he, he didn't make it. Well, that's a damn shame. But, can't say I'm surprised. Maybe you can help me. Kurt said the people out here are immune to the virus. You know anything about that? Uh, now that you mention it, I don't remember any of the locals actually turning. Fucking wackos. They're in a damn cult. Led by some woman they called the mother. Used to be just a harmless local tradition, you know? They weren't serious about it. Well, they're goddamn serious these days. Ever since the outbreak. They scribble symbols everywhere, do these fucking rituals. I think they even pray to her. Yeah, but what about this whole not turning thing? They on Antizen or what? Listen, I'm short a man now. And since I'm an entrepreneur, let's do business. Partner up, you and me. Buying anything, friend? Freaks. A partnership you have in mind. Well, you need some information, and thanks to Kurt getting himself deceased, I need a driver with brains. I can show you something that might help you out, but we'll need to get some wheels first. You want a vehicle out here? Where am I supposed to find that? I'd look around the nearest farm, I were you. And hey, be discreet about it, all right? Got to tell me this? Well, they weren't important at the moment. Fucking fleas, you just can't get rid of them. No structure, no balls, no knack for business. <laughs> Sounds like we're off to a good start. Ah, don't be a drama queen. You can handle them. Listen, I gotta deal with some customers. Just give me a sign once you got the car.
Got the ride. Con, are you there? Con. You're looking for Khan? He's gone. I guess they finally asked him to leave. Oh, asked him to leave, huh? And what, at gunpoint? And who's they? They finally did what my father should have done a long time ago. And it suddenly got really nice and quiet around here, didn't it? You didn't answer my question. Of course I didn't. You're here for the same reason he was. Same reason the bandits won't leave us alone. And we're supposed to trust you? There's got to be something I can do to convince you. You don't have to convince me. I don't care. Show everyone else you're here to give, not just to take. And I'm Eski, by the way. Kyle Crane, Eski. Can you give me some hints, at least? W w what do you guys need? I suppose I could help you out. Just remember, you'll have to return the favor one day. You got it. The groundwaters got polluted a while back. 
Imagine what would happen if you got our water running again. I assume there is a way to do this? Yes, there is. But it's in banded territory. Several men who volunteered to go there, well, they never came back. So I wouldn't recommend it. Unless you have a death wish. If you do, then just follow the pipeline. Thanks for the hint, Esky. Hey, but when you said they asked him to leave, you didn't... You didn't mean the people who live around here, right? No. These people never actually do anything. They couldn't get rid of Khan for months before. Why would they do it now? Still dodging the question. Still not sure if you deserve an answer. Yeah, but kicking someone out of the community just because he was... rude? Isn't that a little bit cruel? Could be. But there's only a tiny wall between us and a swarm of bandits and zombies and who knows what else. One man's big mouth could be enough to tear this place apart. And you're okay with that? You know, if he can't find shelter out there, he's a dead man. Oh, come on. You're from the city. You know people like Khan, don't you? They always find a way to survive. He'd barter with a corpse if it meant he'd get away from trouble. No point asking what you were arguing about with your father? No. No point. Yeah, but still, you're the only one here who's speaking to me. Well, I can understand their attitude, but I don't have to agree with their methods, do I? So you guys would just rather see me gone? Well, no. Look, people here have gotten used to someone taking care of them. All thanks to the mother and her servants. Servants? Just help the people, all right? Do something spectacular, and soon enough you'll see for yourself. You're actually selling something out here? Water. Crystal clear. No diarrhea afterwards. Tastes as if an angel stepped on your tongue, huh? One gallon for ten pounds of food. We accept gold as well. Ten pounds of food for water? What, are you going to start charging for air, too? Oh, we got us a haggler. Look down there, punk. See that? That's Roscoe. We turn hagglers over to him. Still want to haggle, huh? Tell you what, though. I might let you trade your ride for some water. Oh, fuck you, asshole. So be it. All right, boys. 
Fuck him up. Jazir sent me. Or what Eski did. You're one of the three who got lost? The only one left. I am Ali. They got thrown to that... that beast. Okay, listen, Ali, this place has to be at least sort of operational. Otherwise, the bandits wouldn't have had any water. The bandits have water here, but there is none at the farm. Perhaps... Here goes nothing. Cross your fingers. If we did that right, in a couple of minutes there'll be water at the farm again. It's not working. Why is it not working? Oh, shit! Shit! They must have closed it! And this equipment's fucking ancient! We are all well and truly fucked. I'll get the valve open. Where is it? It's the shit out of me. All I know is it ain't here. Follow the pipeline. For fuck's sake, hurry!
some kind of pumping station. The pipeline ends here. They look for the main valve, goddammit! All these fucking alarm mode shut up! Ali, I got it. But the place was already flooded, so now what? We just we just wait? Yes. Now it should just be a matter of time. So we're good? We're better than good. I think you just saved all our asses. Get back to the farm. I'll tell Jasir you're all right. You know, for a stranger. Mother is kind. Mother is kind. Miracle. You don't even know what you just did for us. Our wells have been polluted for the last month, and people were getting sicker and sicker. Maybe I was wrong about you, stranger. So, any chance you'll answer my question now? About that medicine? Follow me, please. Jazir and Haran, we're running out of Antison. I'm looking for anything that could save my friends. If you have anything... Yes, stranger, we do. We have our faith and our prayers to the mother. Faith? Uh, okay. I, I mean no disrespect, but you, you're telling me that prayers keep you from turning? That's your problem. You lack faith, just like the other outsiders. We believe in the mother, and she protects us. We have no need of... Antonsen, or whatever you said. Okay, okay, well, is there any way I could maybe speak with this mother? She is sacred. She speaks only with those known as the faceless. But maybe, maybe you could get them to notice you. If you do enough good for our community. At this point, I'll take anything. So what kind of good are you looking for? What, what needs to be done around here? You're serious about this? <laughs> All right, then. Me, I take care of this farm. And my friend Bilal keeps the gas station near town safe. Look around. You'll find more work than any one man could handle. Excuse me, you, uh, you the owner here? Oh, no, oh, no, no, no! Hey, hey, Nori, it's all right, buddy. Here you go. I'm Bilal. Uh, that's Nori, my brother. Kyle Crane. Pleasure to... Uh, oh, oh, sorry. So, what can I do for you, Kyle? Well, I, I heard the locals might need a hand with a few things. Oh, yeah, Jazir told me you'd come. I heard all about you. Listen, I, I, I'm just trying to help the people back in the city. Hey, helping the infected? You don't have to explain that to me. I get it. My bro got bitten about two months ago. Wait, two months? And he, and he hasn't turned? I 
couldn't believe it either, but hey, there he is, still in working order, unlike this wreck. Just take a look at the board over there. Jasir ain't lying. We could use plenty of help. And man, I'm envious of your ride. It's the only working vehicle I've seen for a while. Tell you what, if you bring it back here and let me look inside from time to time, I'll give it some tuning up, make it even sweeter. If you want to be helpful in the long run, take good care of it. I'm not exactly a mechanic. Then it's a good thing you're talking to me. Here's what you do. It'll be a long drive, but I bet my left hand it'll be worth it. There's a Silas truck stranded on a highway. Go give it a once-over, and if you find any useful parts, bring them to me. Hey, Bilal. Jazir says you can tell me why the power's down all over the place. We're working on the problem. You want to help us out with it? So, what do I have to do? First off, get this fuse to Ali at the plant. He can't do shit without it. Once you get the fuse to him, we'll get the power back. If he can keep from electrocuting himself, I mean. Guy thinks safety precautions are for pussies. I did see a guy trying to dig a broken light bulb out of the socket with a steel screwdriver while the power was on. <laughs> yup. Sounds like Ali. He means well, anyway. So, listen, friend. Two things need to happen. One, like I said, get him this fuse. Two, we need a working insulator. Or the fuse blows as soon as he flips the switch. He says the old ones will hold, but fuck me if I believe him.
this life, mother will help us. What's going on here? Well, if it isn't Kyle Crane, great to see you. And this? This is the mother's blessing. He's one of the faceless. Uh, great, I need to ask him something. Don't you dare disturb him. His prayers are what's protecting us, don't you understand? Okay, okay, I won't bother him, but... I do have something for you. Bilal sends his best. That bastard. So that's it? You gonna get the power running? Need anything else? Actually... Yes. Since you offered. When this ancient piece of shit broke down, the main transfer switch must have thrown. It'll need resetting. Where is it? Inside the dam. And I'm pretty much done here, so... Well, the faster you get to it, the better. simple.
Ali, I'm inside. Throwing the switch now. Great. But it didn't work, man. Try to find the main transfer switch. It must be somewhere in there. Please, hurry. Okay, I think you're safe now. Jesus, what happened? I don't know. He just said, we gotta go now, and let me hear. Told me to get inside and lock the door. He's dead now. May the mother bless his soul. Let's go, Ali. You said you needed to finish something out there, right? Yeah, I was almost done. Just need to flip some switches. Well, I'll stay on guard while you're doing it. You ready? Yeah, let's go. The sooner we're done with this, the better.
Need just a should do it. So, power's back on for good? It's back on for now, but with this old rusty broken-ass equipment, <laughs> I make you no promises. All right, fair enough. I'll be heading out then. You coming? Nah. This place is safe now, right? I'll just hang out here. Observe for a while. Make sure it doesn't all break down the moment my back is turned. So, you're one of the faceless. Will you let me speak to the mother? You think she would speak with a stranger? No. But you are on the right path if you wish to join our ranks. Be patient. What's your name? Kyle Crane. You have a long road ahead of you, Kyle Crane. Do not stray from it. And may this help you in your struggle. That's all we have to say to you for now. You can leave now, newcomer. Jazeera, I gotta ask. Why the hell do you want bolter livers? Those damn filthy bolters. They keep desecrating the graves of our beloved. They eat the corpses we've laid out for the wind to take. Okay, but the livers... For heaven's sake, don't they teach you anything in the city? It's about the smell. You can use it to attract more of the same kind. It's the thremo, thesmo. The pheromones. Yes, that's what I said. Or could you use it to scare them off? And that's what I wanted to say. You learn fast, boy. Okay, so these bolters are attracted to fresh bodies you, what, leave for the wind? Yes. If you see a bolter, just run it over with your car, okay? That'd be much appreciated. And remember about the livers. Just wait! Jazeera, got you a bolter, liver. I... <gasps> the hell are you doing? Get away from me with that stink! There's a barrel behind the barn. Go put it there. Oh, God, the smell. Okay, it's in the barrel. Thank you. And please, if you get more, just leave them in the barrel. That stink is just unbearable. Jazeera, what's wrong? What's, what's going on? We don't have a clue. Everything seemed all right, and suddenly people started feeling sick. I hope you'd know something about it. Well, I don't, but I'll see if I can figure out what's going on.
Right up in the mountains. Oh, please. You've been here this whole fucking time. I ain't lying, motherfucker. She looked better, like cured, maybe. Now I know you're lying. Nobody gets. What the hell? What's going on? Don't hurt me. I, I give up. I give up. Turn off that flashlight. All right. All right, Chief. You got it. But I've seen this uniform before. You're what's left of Rise's gang, huh? We're... Uh, I don't know. Exactly. They didn't tell me. I just joined. Quit lying, asshole. What are you fuckers doing out here? I don't know. I don't know. You understand, I'm a hair away from killing you, right? Okay, okay. I'll talk. But all I know is, the boss had a plan. Poison the water supply, loot everybody. We brought some corpses, threw them in the water. Jesus, you sick bastards. Who's your boss? Where is he? I don't know. I, I told you, I just joined. I didn't want to do it. I swear. Yeah, just following orders? Let's find out what Jazeera has to say about that. See if he's in the mood to hear excuses. Come on, Chief. Don't do it. They'll fucking lynch me. I'm not gonna die. Not like that. Here I'm at the pumping station. Send some people here ASAP. And don't let anyone drink this water. What happened? Some bandits threw corpses into the water. Clean out the bodies and the water should clear up again. You got that? Of course. Thank you. We'll take care of it as soon as possible.
on. What the hell did they do to you? I had been shown the error of my ways. They had opened my eyes to the truth, to the light. Holy shit. Talk about drinking the Kool-Aid. Mother, blessed by the sun, we praise you. Mother, embraced by the wind, we trust you. Mother, radiant with grace, come to us. Children of the sun, accept the mother's gift and stay true to her path. For your suffering, the mother thanks you. What, what, what is this? So, so the biter that didn't attack me, I, I dreamed that? The biter was real, but don't try it again. You're not protected by Mother's aura anymore. However, your soul and blood have been cleaned. Your resistance to the virus will last as long as you stay on the right path. Put your faith in the Mother. Continue what you started, and your questions shall be answered. We will contact you. Lena, come, come on, Lena. Kyle, Kyle. Lena, thank God. Listen, listen to me. I don't know how long it'll last, but I'm immune. I saw her, the, the mother. She spoke to me. I was, I was in like a, like a trance, and the, the zombies they didn't attack me. Lena. Hello. direct this car.
have been what they carried off. What the hell happened here? Are you there? A strange phenomenon doesn't even come close. What do you mean, brother? I mean, there was this huge-ass demolisher just standing there in the field, didn't even notice me. And this weird mist, too, like what you guys had at the ceremony. Oh, well, that's an interesting development. Brother, I can't really tell you right now, but meet me at Jassir's farm. Soon, I believe you are ready. It's good to see you again, brother. This time, though, I fear I carry some bad news for you. Yeah, well, I'm used to that by now. What's going on here? Kyle, you already knew, didn't you? People not getting infected, that it's just smoke and mirrors. It is the smoke, literally. Our mother found a way to fight the sickness using a certain, let's call it an elixir. You have seen it working with your own eyes. So you do have a cure? Would you call a bandage on an open wound a cure? No! What we have right now is just a temporary solution. We are working on a certain curative project, one with more permanence. But we need time, and we need peace to last for just a bit longer. Now let me guess, you're running out of this elixir. Unfortunately, yes. That's why I asked you to come here. I want to offer you a deal. Find us more of it, and a fair portion will be yours. The mother will teach you how to use it. You'll be able to return to Haran with your prize, or perhaps you'll choose to stay with us. It seems like you've got an idea of where to look for this stuff. A lot of our brothers were out searching for it, and recently we lost contact with three of them. They were supposed to check a certain cave. You're seeing the mist. Cannot be a coincidence. It must have been spillage. Seems that someone found the elixir and ran away with it. All right, so check out the cave. Got it. Farewell, brother. I hope the news you bring back is good.
Esky? Damn, I can barely hear you. But listen, I made it. I found Troy. Thank you, Kaya. She told me about this. Esky? 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 Damn it. Jazeera, I have some good news. Good news? That'd be nice for a change. Esky's alive. She's on her way to the tower. Safest place in Haran. She's with my friends. Really? Praise the mother, Kyle. Praise her name. Goods are undamaged. All right, then where are they? Rises, men. That's one of them. Okay, second one's dead too. No surprise there. Are you there? I'm at the cave you mentioned, and I found two of your brothers. Dead. I also heard a distress call. It mentioned some goods that aren't here. So they were stolen. All right. Please keep investigating. We'll try to gather some information about the third brother. Listen, be on the lookout for orange uniforms, or, or a symbol, three horizontal stripes. Excuse me? The bandits in here. These are Rises thugs. They're worse than the undead. What happened in Haran? That's mostly their fault. That information will prove useful. Anybody home?
Have you come to kill me? Fine. Go ahead. Have you come to kill me? Fine. Go ahead. My name's Kyle Crane. The mother's worried about you, Attila. She sent me to check on you. Make sure you're okay. I am most certainly not okay. You can tell her that there will be no book. I've hit a wall. I'm just a dying old man, not Indiana Jones. Dying? Did, did you ask the mother for help? She doesn't have the cure for cancer, I'm afraid. My days of field work are over. The problem is, and I'll quote Hamlet here, everything is fucked up. Come, sit. Have a drink with me, Mr. Crane. Listen, if it's the field work that's stopping you, just... I can go out and get whatever you need. I don't know what you're researching, but the mother really wants it finished. Hmm. You'll bring me anything I need, you say? Yeah, sure. Just make a list. It would certainly help if my electricity were restored. If I'm going to do this, I'll be looking at some very long nights. Well... I can take care of the power, but you're on your own for coffee.
Get your electricity back, Attila, and now what? Now we can get to work, Mr. Crane. I'm researching traces of the prophecy about the God of the Sun in the relics of local culture. It seems like a matter of life and death to the Mother, and I'm in no position to ask why. So, now we have three ancient monoliths to investigate. We're looking for specific features, so you'll need to see them in person and describe each one to me. Now that I have the power back on, we can stay in touch while you're out there. But please hurry, Mr. Crane. I won't live forever. I see a monolith, Attila. Describe it, please. There's a painting, looks old. It's got ants moving toward a circle, and one inside the circle has a red head. No, 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 Mr. Crane. Those are not ants. They're meant to represent the levers praying to the sun. Whatever. If you say so. The one on the inside is wearing a special ritual mask, if I guess correctly. All right, that is helpful. Please move on.
Attila, I got a monolith. And? It's underwater, but I can see the remains of a painting. There was... like a head, I think? Could it have been a mask? Yeah, maybe. Good work, Mr. Crane. Attila, I found one of those monoliths. What do you see? A big ass stone, that's what. And also an old painting. It's, it's a sun on top of a mountain, a mountain crossed with a zigzag. Anything else? Yeah, someone added a mere heart's jasmine on the side. Does that help? All right, Mr. Crane, let's move on. All right, Attila, that's all of them. Now what? You'll have to start climbing, I'm afraid. Head to the highest mountain you can find, to a place known as the Temple of the Sun. Attila, I'm at the mountain. What do you see? Just a whole lot of climbing. I did warn you. Okay, I'm at the top. It's an awesome view. Let's get to work then, Mr. Crane. There's a painting of a bloody blade on one of the monoliths. Anything else? A mask, perhaps? No, should, should I be looking for a mask? With the utmost diligence, Mr. Crane. This is very important. Attila, I found this hole with, I don't know, I guess there are offerings inside it. There's a mask in here, too. Is it red? If it's red, take it with you. 
Be careful with it. Yeah, it's red. Should I take anything else? There's a lot of stuff in here. No, no, that should be enough. I think you can come back now, Mr. Crane. Here's your mask, Attila. I don't know if it's gonna help with anything. Listen, the Mother's obsessed with this prophecy. When the world is ravaged by plague, when darkness devours the Earth, when men are as beasts to one another, when humanity shall be struck by corruption of both flesh and soul, then shall be revealed one man who, through an act of ultimate sacrifice, shall accept the mercy of the Light. And the God of the Sun shall be revealed through him, and through him will he speak. And his voice shall be the light and the healing. And he shall pass through the gates of death, so that he may bring new life. On every remaining painting, the God of the Sun, or a priest attempting to summon him, wears a mask like that one. So, yes, Mr. Crane, I believe you've helped me plenty. You need anything else? Only time and peace. I have to write everything down. I'll let the Acolytes know that you've helped me. Thank you, Mr. Crane. I'll call you the moment I'm done. See you tomorrow, then. You promise? All right. I'll be waiting for you. Reach out to you guys? He said he was going to. Then he is all right. I helped him with his research. He told me that he has to write everything down now. Said he needs time. Go and find out, please, why he hasn't reached out to us yet. We must be certain that he will finish the task. All right. What I have done, however it will turn out in the end, will give the mother a better answer to what she's looking for than any research I could have been losing time working on. You see, as a famous ethnographer, I came to Haran on the invitation of the local colonel's wife. The colonel, the mother. These were words spoken around here with utmost respect. Yet for me, after a while, they became just Amir and Jasmine. A happy marriage, if there ever was one. And it was at his request that I stayed behind when all hell broke loose. I was here when he came back to evacuate her. I watched as he got bitten, and when he asked me to stay, I did as he asked. I thought he'd want me to end his suffering. But that wasn't the case. He gave me something that I was supposed to pass to her. Only if her state of mind after this tragedy didn't raise my concern. But I never saw her again. I felt rejected, 
I felt abandoned, but now that I'm about to die, I can't keep the promise. She still won't agree to see me. But you, you're different, Kyle. You have a chance to meet her. There is no other option for me. I have to leave what the Colonel gave me in your hands, Kyle. I know that when the time comes, you will make the right decision. Remember this code, please. 2519-8603. I apologize for any wrongs I have done, and I beg for your forgiveness. Attila H. Tiller, what the fuck have you done? Hey, it's Kyle Crane. I'm out of Tiller's house. What's Attila's condition, Crane? Speak. He slit his own throat. He put the mask on and killed himself. Mask? What mask? An old red mask I found at the Temple of the Sun. <sighs> that old fool used you, Crane. What? what? How? To find this mask. We know all about it. That wasn't his task, Crane. Attila was deadly sick. There was a cancer eating his brain. He must have become convinced that if he put this mask on and slit his throat, the God of the Sun would manifest and possess his body. But why? Why, why would he get that in his head? And he shall pass through the gates of death, so that he may bring new life. Attila interpreted that to mean suicide, an error that cost him his life. Take the mask, and try to find the book Attila was writing for us. Take them to Jasir, and we'll take care of the rest. Jazir, please don't ask any questions. Just hand this stuff to the Acolytes when you have a chance. Okay, it's very imp important to the Mother, I know. They told me already. I'll tell them I have it.
There you are. Try to help you. No. Just, just listen. They're following us. Wanted the cure. Didn't know how to open. So, asked about Mother. I told them nothing. Don't talk. Save your energy. I'll get you out of here. Light. Can stay with me. Damn it. Hey. 
It's Crane. The bandits were in the granary. So was Orkin. They captured and tortured him. May the God of the Sun accept his soul. Did he tell them anything? I don't know. He said he didn't. He did try to tell me something about the cure. I guess they didn't know how to open it? So some of it remains. Even though they spilled a lot at that field. Do you have any idea where they could have gone? Orkin said something about the lighthouse. I'll take a look. Thank you, brother. If you find those vials, give us a sign immediately. You'll take it straight to the mother. Kyle, can you hear me? Kyle! Lena, I copy. Go ahead. Kyle, can you hear me? Shit. Lena! Lena! God damn it! Fuck, I'm so close. Turn me loose, hey! What the fuck? It was you. You're working with Rise's bandits? Where is it, you son of a bitch? Where the hell is the cure? What? You're crazy! Don't fuck with me, Khan! Where is it? Look, I just live here, alright? I don't know shit about working with bandits. Um, who's speaking? Done with you. Shit.
Find him! Show me the goddamn court! Oh no. This is Crane. Do you copy? The vials are gone. I saved only the last few of them. And Rise's men are coming to you. Do you hear me? side. Holy shit. Holy fucking shit. Hey, anybody there? Brother? More fighting. More death. 
I can't let this happen again. I won't. To you. Where are the faceless? What, what's happening to me? Why, why, why do I hear your voice inside my head? Children of the sun, Kyle. They were nothing before the outbreak. Just a half-forgotten tradition. An old-world faith long dead. I'm tired. I've held this title for so long now. The Mother. It was meaningless. Until it became all too real. I thought their respect came simply because I was a colonel's wife. We had a good, cozy life. After the outbreak, my husband came to get me out. We didn't stand a chance against the horde. We were bitten. He bled to death in my arms. He gave me his cigarette kiss and asked me to run. He didn't want to hurt me. Dragged away by the relievers. They came for their mother. It took me a while to remember that my husband didn't smoke. I looked inside. There was a map, a key, and a note with numbers. It led us here. tried to get the power back on. The rest of us went to look for medicine. Others looked to me. It could have held medicine. They could have held poison. I felt a seizure coming. I was about to turn, and I realized why else would my husband leave me here? I loved him. I trusted him. I remember a taste. Acrid, bitterest blood. It might have been blood. by the remains of the people who had trusted me. It was because of the light. Someone finally turned the power back on. And the light brought me back. You see, <laughs> meeting the fumes is one thing, but drinking the liquid is something else entirely. In the light, in the sun, my mind is my own. I'm filled with love you could possibly imagine. But in the dark, my new nature dominates. Mindless, lethal. In the dark, with cruel passion, I ripped my own children to pieces. But I swore to myself that I would become the mother they really deserve. And now, you have come, Kyle. And every sign tells me you're the one I've been waiting for. It's in the prophecy, Khan. Then shall be revealed one man who, through an act of ultimate sacrifice, shall accept the mercy of the no. light. And the God of the Sun shall be revealed through him. And through him will he speak. I just need that medicine to save my friends. Look at my face. There is no medicine. You want mankind to become what I am? Listen to my voice. Beautiful evolution indeed. Minds and souls connected in a telepathic bond. How horrific. Look at me. And when the darkness comes, what then? More death, more killing. You can hide from others, but who will hide them from you? 
But we don't we don't have to drink it with just the mist. It doesn't matter. Just listen. You've been breathing the mist. It will take longer, but you're already changing into a monster such as myself. No, wait. Listen! Armor built a failsafe into their experiment. This entire region can be purified. The question is, are you ready to sacrifice thousands of lives, Kyle? Yours among them? Are you crazy? I won't play your god of the sun. I want no part in this bullshit. Just let me take the vials and go. Maybe you'll understand when you see it with my eyes. How narcissistic. You, the god of the sun himself. I'll show you who no. you are. No! No! God damn it! You fucking monster! I <laughs> My love for humanity fills me. A love which you defy. And you know that a love rejected turns to anger. An anger you will bear, Kyle Crane. I will make you pay for all those. <laughs>
Friends, and you can rot in hell. Fucking killed you! This is a poison. It's not a poison! It's a cure. <laughs> Lena? Lena, I'm coming back with the medicine. We'll be able to we'll be able to help everyone. Tell Camden that that he has all the time. He has all the time in the world now. No! No, tell him. Tell him we, we have a new lead. We have a better one. Where, where am I? <laughs> 